Hey guys, it's Frank Mantua from U.S. Golf Camps. I'm sitting here today with Lori Rinker. And just a quick background on Lori. Lori was uh, the number one junior in the world when she was a junior. She actually won the, ju the U.S. Junior the Girls Championship uh, when she was in high school and went on to play at the University of Florida was a two-time All-American and actually qualified for the PGA Tour after her junior year, which is something you don't see very often. So a great junior career. Just wanted to get a couple of questions with her while, while we had her and talking about junior golf and college pursuing college scholarships. Exactly. Uh, the, the interesting thing is, obviously, you're the number one player, the, the number one junior in the world, so college was a little bit different, the process. But for all those kids that are, you know, trying to figure out whether they're a Division II golfer, a Division III golfer, a Division I golfer, and ironically, you're going through this process with your son, Timmy, who's a, who's a junior in high school right now. Um, what have you figured out with him, and sort of what's the process been with him, and how have you narrowed down schools for him, and what's realistic? Well, for... I know one thing, for girls out there, play golf because there's plenty of college scholarships available. Yeah, true. And the coaches are looking at kids from eighth grade on. They're they're really tracking kids now because it's become so highly competitive. So I would say get in touch with college coaches and and you can kind of go online and see what the the kids from those teams are shooting, the scores they're shooting. You can go online and see where the colleges are ranked, Division One, Division Two. you can see where they're ranked, and you can kind of figure out where your scores are compared to where those teams' scores are. There's a lot of little nuances to it, and Frank, I know, can help you out, but that get started early, especially if your kid's playing in um, tournament golf. Get started in that process early, and one thing I would recommend, too, is I was a little bit slow in getting my son doing the SAT, so get on top of that and be ready to take it in your junior year so you have plenty of time because there's a lot of academic scholarships out there as well. Yeah, that's a good point, and a lot of the coaches that work for us at camp you know, say that the kids are so worried about their golf score and their handicap and their scores in the tournaments, but they stress the academics is, 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 is at least 50% of the process, maybe even a little bit more. So. Well, if, you, if you're a really good, especially for men, if you're a really good golfer, Unless you're like one of the top ten in the world, it's very difficult to get a full golf scholarship. Yeah. Um, so there, and you, there's academic scholarships, and if the team, the university wants you, they're going to find some scholarships for you. And academics is an easy, right, easy right. route. So getting getting good grades and getting good scores on those tests. Yeah, helpful. I think it's a it's a good point, is it gives the coach another option. Right. Whether he can, if he doesn't have enough. Uh, athletic money, you can find some academic money, yeah, as long as your grades are, as yeah. long as your grades yeah, are I mean, it, to, for really good players, a half a golf scholarship is pretty big. Right, true. So. Well, thanks, guys. Well, one, one thing I wanted to mention before before we left is we do do this at camp with our advanced, our elite program, and we try to find a realistic scholarship point, um, you know, schools that are realistic for them, not only for their grades, but also for their golf abilities. So I want to thank Lori for taking the time to be with us today and helping us with these few tips. And hopefully for you guys, it sort of guides you through the college process. So please let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you at camp.